All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting here at my home office, and uh, yep, I've got the vid. Got COVID. Started feeling really bad about Christmas night and uh, woke up coughing. Uh, it was just a miserable feeling. Uh, I actually never started having a fever. Uh, I was, you know, on the borderline of high. We go high, a little low, high, a little low, but it was a little higher than just plain old normal. And uh, unfortunately for me, uh, I was sitting at the house with my wife and my two kids. And guess who the whole family now has COVID? Uh, my wife went and got tested yesterday, came back positive. Uh, we were just pretty sure the kids had got it because they're running temperatures and they're coughing. This is a, a mild version. I've had it before uh, when it first came out. But right now, my symptoms are just, the body is draining. I feel I'm sore. Um, it feels like I've got shingles again in my shoulders, uh, just from the, the pain and, uh, my back. So anyway, uh, we're, we're going to recover. We're on day four or five of this thing and I'm feeling a little better. Occasionally I got to be careful. I get lightheaded and I got to take some naps. Okay. So, um, I wanted to share some things with you guys while I'm sitting here. Uh, there was a company called Refuge Medical. Uh, we're down there at the, uh, Epic Shoot. Uh, with Big Daddy Unlimited and his gentleman, J.A. Dudley. As a matter of fact, these guys were staying in the hotel and they're out there early in the morning while we're drinking coffee and they've got the boxing gloves on and uh, just having a good old time out there in the parking lot training and doing some things like that. And I never, I didn't know who, what, when, where, and how. And then uh, later on that day, I, I met one of the owners or the, the owner, TJ, uh, and he was out there and this guy's wearing like a, a shop uh, shirt, you know, tattooed up left and right, big old beard, my kind of guy, you know? So, uh, later on that afternoon, as I was walking around, JA walked up to me and says, Hey KB, man, uh, you know what? Would you be interested in taking a look at some of the stuff that we have? And I said, absolutely. So I went over to their stand. As a matter of fact, one of the guys was from, oh no, just retired from the sheriff's department up there. And I believe he actually knew my sister, uh, from, uh, Roanoke County. So it was kind of cool. But anyway, Refuge Medical, uh, they sent, uh, in response to our conversation, and I learned a lot, a bunch of these things right here. These are called trauma kits. And I am going to be doing a review on these things. Uh, but before I did that, I wanted to do a little research because the guys over there at uh, Refuge Medical, uh, they, they have a unique story. And I wanted to share that story with you because it's very important for me, not only to like look at the company or anything else like that, but I just, I want to see if something's important, I want that to be a, a bearing on maybe your decision to go down there and shop or donate. And I'm going to uh, read something to you. J.A. sent this to me because I looked into uh, a little bit more about Refuge and uh, found out Bear Independent. And, and guys, if you're already subscribed to him, you know exactly what I'm talking about just an uh, worthwhile to read. So here we go. I'm going to read this email from J.A. Dudley. Um, talking about Bear, TJ, I guess. Uh, Bear has been preparing since Hurricane Katrina when deployed for disaster relief efforts around the Gulf Coast of the United States. All right, so before we get too far into this thing, they have uh, what they call Grindstone Ministries, okay? And right now, those guys have deployed and are, are heading up or already in uh, Kentucky, and they are providing people with mobile wash units. Um, so I'm going to put the link down below to the video that I watched. And it just brings tears to my eyes that there are people like this who are, we live amongst, who are just that awesome. That he and his family and the people that work with the, the, the company, Refuge Medical, uh, they're out there giving it their all and helping with mobile wash buckets. I mean, what, how incredible is that? I mean, you got people who've just been totally displaced. They don't have any way of washing their clothes. They just need clean water and they've got everything in a bucket right here to wash their clothes, which is huge. Um, I'm going to put a link down below to that video. There's another link that I'm going to put. It's all my links, Grindstone Ministries. And, um, you know, <laughs> God works in mysterious ways, and on occasion, he'll bring us an amazing people, and this this whole group of people is worth the story. So let me keep going, but I wanted to put those, check the links out down below, and also they have an Amazon thing where you can actually purchase items through Amazon, and they will be delivered to their warehouse, and they can ship them up and, and or transport them up there. This is amazing. Okay, so 
Uh, after seeing the meager and ineffective governmental response to the massive crisis, Bear took it upon himself to begin preparing to protect and provide for his family and loved ones independently of the broken, fragile system. And talking about being a prepper. As we know, you know, guys, it ain't going to do you any harm to have a bunch of rice and a bunch of beans and some spare water and the ability to uh, provide for yourself. Uh, <laughs> So, as a subject matter expert for the DOD, DIA, and multiple agencies and organizations, Bear worked all across the continental United States teaching individuals, agencies, and organizations about the instability of the national electric transmission grid and renewable energies. Absolutely. Uh, one of the biggest things for me uh, with my family is I travel and I'm away from the family. If we, we lose power all the time because we have these monstrous trees out here is that I want to get one of those, uh, generators that's, uh, serviced off of natural gas because there's an abundance of natural gas. Unless somebody hits a gas line, we're going to keep running. Anyway, there's a lesson to be learned here. Bear sta started creating YouTube content in earnest in 2018, which focuses on faith, preparedness, homesteading, and his ministry work. Out of the success of the YouTube channel, Refuge Medical was born. These guys right here. Check this. I mean, and when I spoke to TJ or Bear, uh, one of the biggest things for him was having a, a trauma kit that was put together in logical, chronological sense. I mean, you've got ABC, okay, airway, breathing, circulation. These are the certain things. And then with the trauma kit, you've got the nasal gene, uh, fair gene, whatever you call that thing. Uh, back in my day, we just took a pen and shoved it in the carotid or the throat. <laughs> but anyway, so we got this big packet here. We'll go over these things individually. But uh, also, I am going to provide a price list if you were to try to go out and buy these things because you really can't buy what's in these for the amount of money that they're, they actually are retailing for. Um, so anyway, uh, let's see here. Out of the success of the YouTube, Refuge Medical was born. There was a need in the market space for a truly stellar American made, American made. Let me show you guys something really cool because I got to do some a review on a Chinese product. I'm not really proud of it. But in any case, talk to these guys. And one of the things that they do, and there's tags all over this guy right here, made in the USA. But look at that, man. This is a kit from hell. Very, very cool. Okay, so uh, with success of Refuge Medical came the need to train individuals in the expedient use of life-saving medical techniques and equipment. Thus, Refuge Training was born, which has to train, which has trained over 1,000 students across the United States in 2021 alone. Additionally, two lives saved have been directly attributed to the refuge training students. This is awesome. And, I, and like I said, in, in when we did the RTS tactical, one of the most important things that I think you could probably do is go out and actually take a lifesaver course. Okay, so there's simple things like learning how to do CPR, uh, you know, uh, setting a, a, a traction or a femur, <laughs> giving, a, giving a IVs, that kind of thing. Um, so anyway, let's talk about this. Grindstone Ministries, all right, we'll talk about Grindstone Ministries, uh, was born out of a call for help in 2019 when, Mike, when Hurricane Michael hit Florida coast, Gulf Coast. Bear responded, since then, Grindstone Ministries has deployed 24 times over the last 33 months to provide hot meals, groceries, debris removal, tree and forestry services, construction services, and counseling to Americans affected by natural disasters. Again, here we go, man. You've got a, a gentleman who started something. He's uh, got an awesome company. Next thing you know, he's traveling around the country helping others. And this is this was this one hit me, man. This is very good. Uh, I'm working, not working, but in talking with my sister, who is uh, part of the task force in Virginia uh, for the uh, human trafficking. Um, I realized there, this is a huge issue that we have in this country. So here is again, during one such employment, uh, Grindstone Ministries was involved in the construction of the Bethany House, a rehabilitation facility for juvenile human trafficking survivors. Jesus, man, this, this guy was sent to us by God. After completing Bethany House, Bear felt convicted to build another rehabilitation home for trafficked children. This is where the Caleb House came into existence. 
Now, guys, I'm not sitting here blowing smoke up your ass. This is not what I'm here to do. But what I am here to do is to share this guy's stories. Also, I'm going to share all the links down below. Um, also, if you uh, use the discount code of KB32, you'll get 10% off on the Refuge Medical Kit. So we're going to be doing uh, individual tabletop stuff. Uh, but right now, I'm getting light, lightheaded as hell. Caleb House is being built by Grindstone Ministries to rescue and rehabilitate juvenile human trafficking survivors. Currently, the land has been secured and the building plans have been submitted to DHS for approval. And I'm not sure if that's a Department of Health and Human Services or Department of uh, home, Homeland Security. But uh, anyway, DHS is usually, uh, when I say DHS or FPS, it's Department of Homeland Security. The next steps for the uh, Caleb House include bringing utilities into the property and beginning construction on the buildings at the facility, as well as building out the team that will operate the Caleb House. So I'm just glad I got through this video without tearing up, man. There are certain things in this world that just make me ecstatic. And uh, good God, man, this guy, is, yeah, I met him. He's a monster. If you're not subscribed to his channel, please go over um, and subscribe. He's going to doing a day by day of what they've got going on up there in Kentucky. But again, I just didn't want to come on there um, and start doing you know videos on this without giving the story behind the, the people on it. I'd like to give a big shout out to uh, J.A. Uh, thank you so much. If you ever met J.A., you will never forget that guy. He's got a firearm slung and a first aid kit that looks like he can uh, do a heart surgery <laughs> right there in front of you. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, um, that's it, man. And uh, we're feeling better by the day. And I'll be back at it here pretty soon. Uh, we've got the... Uh, what do you call it? That one build where I'm putting a pistol together. Um, I did find out that uh, the, the triggers are dragging on the inside of the uh, inside of the grip. So you guys have got to force it to be fed open. Whatever. We'll get through it. Um, with that being said, guys, please uh, check out the links down below. Subscribe. There, uh, again, there is a, a link there for uh, Amazon where you can donate directly and uh, the items will be shipped and we're talking about pull-ups uh diapers laundry detergent uh hair hair products fruit of the loom mint i mean shit, anything and everything that uh, a man or a family could use this guy it, it, it yeah so anyway <laughs> hold on this guy brings uh what do you call it, sense back into what we are currently living through. So with that being said, guys, always end it like this. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless us men, women, in uniform, 24-7 for our freedoms. Freedom's not free. God bless you, Bear, J.A., and your family for doing what you're doing. You, you bring uh, faith back into our society that there are good people out there willing to do what has to be done. And you're selfless individual. Selfless. Y'all be good. KB32, I'm out of here. Boom.